Hey, Dan Passarelli here. I was talking with one of our student traders in our Slack room earlier today, and we we're talking about index options and ETF options. And he mentioned that he just trades ETF options and not index options. And I said, well, why? And he said, well, I'm not uh, that familiar with them yet. And that makes perfect sense. You shouldn't be trading anything that you're not that familiar with. But it might be worth your time to explore index options and get familiar with them because they can have certain advantages and, of course, disadvantages as well. Now, one of the advantages is there are some broad-based index options that have certain tax advantages. Now, I am not a tax professional. I use an accountant to do my taxes, so I am not going to give you tax advice. But you should talk to your accountant to, uh, and maybe do some of your own research as well to see which of these indexes might have tax advantages and whether it is worth it to you. In some cases, I think it probably will be. Another potential advantage to index options is that some of them, they represent the same thing as popular ETFs, but they're different sizes. For example, SPY and SPX. So this is SPY. This is something that I typically trade in this smaller trading account. The underlying is 530 bucks. Uh, the, the 531 calls are offered at $2.38, so 200 and $38 to buy one of those calls. SPX is the full size contract. It's 10 times the size. This is actually the real size of the S&P 500, 500, whereas SPY is the S&P 500 divided by 10. Basically, there's some nuance there, but that's basically what it is. So when SPY is at 531.50, SPX is at 53.15. And when the SPY 531 calls are at $2.90, the 5310 calls are at $29.40, 10 times the size here as well. So how is that an advantage? Well, if you're a small trader, it's not. It's not an advantage at all. You'd be taking on 10 times more risk. But if you find yourself trading 10 SPY options at a crack, 20 SPY options at a crack, you can save nine commissions and trade just one SPX option. Uh, one other advantage is assignment risk. SPX options are European exercise. What does that mean? That means they can't be exercised early. So you won't ever end up being long the underlying or short the underlying by surprise by an early exercise. And fourth Fourthly, and this is tied into that last bit, it's impossible to get a position in the underlying even if exercised or assigned because SPX options are cash settled. That means if you get assigned or if you exercise, you're just getting or giving the in the money value. You're not actually taking a position in the underlying and continuing the risk. So those are four advantages that index options have above ETF options. Uh, one potential disadvantage right off the cuff, and there are more advantages and more disadvantages. One potential disadvantage right off the cuff is that for SPX options, the last trading day is Thursday when the bell rings, which is at 3.15 Central Time or 4.15 uh, Eastern Time, so 15 minutes later. But the final settlement price is based off the opening rotation Friday morning. So there can be this overnight risk. So um, a good way to overcome that is to get rid of the pin risk, just trade out of anything that is even close to being at the money. All right. Anyway, I hope that helps. This is Dan Passarelli. Hey, put that information to use. Trade smart.